this is Morgan here with Native Roots, standing under a pinon tree. Some of you might be familiar with pine nuts, and New Mexico has tons of pinon trees growing everywhere. What is important about that? Well, this sap right here, known as pine pitch or tree resin, um, can be used for the respiratory system. It's really great for drawing things out of the lungs. A lot of people have made in New Mexico Trementina salve, but I'm going to teach you guys about a new use. Of course, the pinon sap in a salve or infused into any oil and rubbed on the chest is going to help expectorate or break up phlegm. But one thing I was taught in Peru when I was exposed to black mold and trying to treat my lungs was that the resin of many trees can heal the lungs. It breaks up phlegm and it can pull out or draw out a lot of the toxins that don't belong in the respiratory system. So what this does is it acts as a drying agent, pulling out phlegm out of the lungs. And one of the ways that you can do that is you can tincture the resin. Any resin that you tincture is going to require a high percentage of alcohol. Right now, some of you might be doing research on that because as we've learned, you have to use 65% alcohol or higher to kill COVID-19. But what I'm going to recommend is 65 to 75% alcohol. Um, that could be something like Everclear. Uh, you could talk to your local distillers and get some corn alcohol or cane sugar alcohol. Um, and if you have nothing else, you can get vodka or tequila. So you put your your tree resin, this here is in particular is pinon resin, and we're gonna put this in some alcohol and tincture it, leaving it for a couple of weeks and then adding it to some of our respiratory tinctures to help heal lungs, break up phlegm, and get rid of any kind of mucus, uh, dry phlegm that are stuck in the lungs or as a treatment that you could add in prevention or treatment for COVID-19. Uh, so if you come around and you can see that the tree uses this sap right here, this resin, uh, to heal its wounds. So oftentimes when trees get a disease, they will bleed this sap and it acts as a scab. Once it dries, it comes off really easily. And this one is still relatively fresh um, and you can pull it off with your hands. Topically, it's great for wounds. Um, so any kind of pain or inflammation, it's even been used to treat ulcers in the body. So we'll talk now about the pine needles of any evergreen tree. Uh, right now, specifically, we're under a pinon tree. So I'm going to recommend the pine needles of any evergreen as a source of vitamin C. Many of you might be trying to buy vitamin C at the store or vitamin C online and it might not be available. Many of you might be worried about money and I just want you to know that um, vitamin C is free and it's available right now. So go grab some pine needles and add it to your respiratory tea or add it to your uh, pinon resin tincture and start your vitamin T and lung tonic. Also to be noted is that if you are going to take the resin of a tree as an internal treatment for drying out toxins in the lungs or mucus and phlegm, you must be mindful that tree resin can be slightly hard on the kidneys. So in order to balance that out, I would take a kidney herb in conjunction with that. Thank you so much. Take care and be well.